Hey folks, in this video we are going to talk about stretchy fabrics. Three tips on working with stretchy fabrics and how to make your life easier. What you'll need for this is your standard DIYers toolkit. You're going to need some flat elastic, some double-sided basting tape or adhesive tape, some wonder clips, and then in this case we're working with some 9.3 stretch mesh with Dyneema as well as some flow mesh and also some kind of pack fabric. Uh, we're using X-Pack V15, whatever you have at hand. Tip number one is going to be making sure that your machine is changed from a straight stitch to a zigzag stitch. This is going to allow the stitch to stretch with your stretch material and it will also give you a nice clean look. You want to make sure that you have a nice new sharp needle in your machine and you're going to need to adjust your thread tension depending on what fabric you're using. So just use some scrap fabric, run some zigzag stitches, and then adjust your thread tension as needed. Make sure that you don't stretch your fabric to fit to your pattern piece. Even if it's just a little bit of stretch and you feel like you can make it work, it will eventually just deform your pattern piece and you're not going to get that good clean finished look you're looking for. I'm going to apply my basting tape to the perimeter of my pattern piece that I'm going to stick my stretchy fabric on top of. The important thing here is to apply even pressure to your double-sided tape. To do this, you can either use your roller or you can even take your, uh, your thread snips and just use that to press down your tape. Now that you've applied the double-sided tape to your pack fabric, you're going to remove that, that backing on the adhesive. You're going to take your stretchy fabric and being careful not to stretch it, you're going to lay that down on top of the adhesive. And then again, you're going to want to apply even pressure. Now we've already mentioned that you're going to want to use a zigzag stitch for the majority of your stretch fabric instances. However, in this case, when your stretch fabric is going to be embedded in your seam, you're going to want to use a straight stitch. And that's basically just going to baste your fabric on the edge of this pattern piece so that then when you assemble whatever product you're making, that straight stitch will be embedded in that seam. Now that we have basted this onto our pattern piece, we're going to just flip it over and trim off that excess stretchy fabric. In the next step, we're going to talk about finishing this raw edge. Now we haven't talked about it up until this point because you're going to need those skills that you learned in steps one and two to accomplish this. If you'll notice, we've switched over to a new fabric. This is our 9.3 stretch mesh with Dyneema. And we switched over just to show that these techniques apply to all stretch fabrics. The two methods that I typically like to use for finishing my stretch fabric edges is gonna be binding or a rolled hem. Uh, you're gonna use a wider flat elastic to do the binding and then a narrower most of the time for your rolled hem. The first way we're gonna do this is the rolled hem. Uh, in this situation, you can use the double-sided tape again to place your flat elastic at the very edge of your fabric, and then we're going to base that down and then do our rolled hem from there. Okay, now that we have our flat elastic basted to the edge of our fabric, we're just going to go ahead and roll that twice to make our rolled hem. And we're gonna go to our machine and use a zigzag stitch to stitch that down. Now, depending on the width of your elastic here, you may need to adjust the width of your zigzag stitch. That's gonna depend on your machine, so just try it out and see what works best. Next, we're gonna show you how to do the flat elastic binding on the raw edge of your fabric. So with this method, you can either use your basting tape and put a strip on either side of your flat elastic and then fold it over your pattern piece before you stitch it down. Or you can use clips in this case. So a little pro tip here, what I typically do with this is I'll take my flat elastic binding and I'll go ahead and fold it in half and I'll start my zigzag stitch on the first little you know, inch of that elastic. 
and then I'll feed my fabric into that crease and continue to sew my zigzag stitch along the elastic. Learning to sew with stretch mesh is a great skill to have. You can start to implement things like water bottle pockets, cell phone pockets, whatever. Like anything with DIY, just take your time, practice the skills, and you'll get there. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, then you'll probably like our other content. Check us out on all of our other platforms, and as always, if you have questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks for watching.